Hello everybody, I am back. Today I am going to show you how to draw Jeff the Killer. Okay, so he's kind of like the interesting character in the... I think it's a comic series or anime series, I don't know. I kind of forgot, okay. So I think he's a like, pretty popular like, pretty popular character, so I want to draw him out. And show you guys how to draw him. Okay, so we're gonna basically start off by drawing a circle, okay. So if the circle don't have to be really big, you... You can draw the circle however the uh, like, like that bit if you want to if you want to just draw the hair or you don't want to draw the body so this character will have like the hair and the body and he's holding like two lives so if you want don't want to draw the life you can actually like, draw, draw like two bananas like he's holding two bananas ready to eat bananas all right then the next part i can switch to my uh micro input, which is a zero seven lead Alright, so we're gonna start off by drawing the hair first. Okay, since I joined the hair, let me zoom in this part. Alright, so it will be like that. Okay, so we're gonna draw this line about in the middle. We're gonna draw a line that's curving back, then curve down, okay, and then curve down again. So he's he kinda have like a lot of hair. So it's gonna like we will take some time to draw the hair. Okay, once you get that done, we're gonna do another uh, like triangle, triangle, uh, like curving triangle shape right there, curving back for one hair. Okay, now we're gonna draw two hair kind of connect together. So it'll be like one line that's a little bit longer than the first hair, then curve back, and then another one that's like a little bit longer than the second that one. Okay, so it'll be like that. So that's like the second hair. Okay, then we're gonna curve this line back a little okay then curve up that's not like where the eye is okay then we're gonna do another one right here curving in and up all right now we can draw the face so he have a, like a uh, pretty young young looking face so it'll be in line curve down and then we're gonna draw a like a triangular shape with the face alright then we're gonna draw that line curve up so you may want to draw that line curving up pretty quick because you, know, you want to get the feeling of the line alright so that's like um, basically it's the hair drawing okay then we're gonna draw the neck okay so the neck will be about right here alright once you have drawn the neck we can keep working on the hair because we want to use the neck as the guideline okay so uh, where the end part is right there you got to curve in line down okay so both nine about about the same need not the same needs with the that that's nine will be, you can use that as an input okay so you need to look like that okay then the next part about right here we're gonna draw a line that's like curving down okay so that be like the hoodie okay so we got another one about where the mouth is gonna draw it down like that so that's not like the second hoodie Okay, so we're gonna expand the hoodie line a little. Okay, then we're gonna curve it up and it kind of like a circle shape like that. Alright, then we're gonna draw another line about right here. Curve up and a circle like that. Okay, then another line curve down. So that's like the hoodie. Okay, then we're gonna finish drawing this hoodie before I move on drawing the hair. Okay, so we're gonna draw a line that's kind of like curving it down. Okay, then we can do, do almost the same thing right here. Make sure you do it at the like at the top right here, not right here. Okay, so we're gonna make a line curve back and curve down. Okay, then we're gonna draw this line kind of connect it. Okay, so we're gonna curve it up first, and then curve to a line curve down. Okay, so that one we can connect these two lines. All right, so that's basically the hoodie. Okay, let me zoom out a little to draw the hair. So he have like puffy kind of hair. Okay, so where the uh, this line is, we're gonna start off by drawing the uh, hair shape. Okay, so curve up, okay, another curve up, okay, another curve up, then curve up again. Okay, so about right here, this I'm like a big, big hair line sticking out right there. So I curve back. Okay, then connect the lines. Okay, then we're gonna uh, do a line curve down, curve in, 
Okay, then we're going to do another one. Like curving down and out. Alright, then we're going to connect the line by curving it in. Okay, then we're going to do another one. That's like curving it down again. Then curve up. Curve down. So we're going to draw like uh, four, three more of those. Okay, so this one will be like a little bit bigger than the, uh, that one. Okay, then we got one more that's like very big. Okay, then we got a little bitty one right here. So that's not here. It's like flowing back. Okay, so that's like if you can draw that, you got pretty good at drawing this. Okay, so maybe I will like expand this line a little bit longer. Because I want this uh, here to be the longest. It could be like a point in. Okay, so it's like I have a feeling of a shape like that. Okay, then we got on like that. So we're gonna color all this black at the end. Okay, so let's move on to the body. Okay, so how to zoom out some more. Okay, hope you guys can see that pretty well. All right. So we're gonna I'm gonna start off by drawing the right hand first. Okay, so we the right shoulder first. So we line curve down like that. Then we stop. Okay, then we're gonna make a more puffy line. So it'll be like that. Curving it down. Okay, so this line is about a little bit longer than that, right there, than that uh, hoodie type, right there. So we need to know like this. Okay, then we're gonna draw a line, like that curve back, that curve back, and kind of like straight down, and then curve in. Okay, so that's like the shape of the arm. Okay, then we're gonna do the second part. About the middle, right here, will be right here. We're gonna draw a line, curve down. Okay, then we got another one curving down right there. So that now you can I expand it a little, curving down like that. Okay, so that's like the. Uh, here now we are going to draw the arm. Okay, so we got a line right down right there, and then another one right beside it, curve, curving, curving it up and down. Okay, so that's not the uh, arm. Okay, that's like the uh, folds for the for this hoodie. Okay, so that's not he's not going to hold a life. Okay, so reminder you can draw a banana. He's holding a banana if you want to. Okay. Then the next part we can draw a line right there. So he's kind of pretty skinny. Okay, so you can draw this line like curving in. Okay, then we can draw another one right here. Okay, so it's to show his skinny shape. So let's now let's draw the right right hand. Okay, so it'll be right here. We're gonna do a little triangle shape out right here like that first. Okay, then we're gonna make a little bump right there up and then curve and uh, like kinda like straight line down like that. Okay, then we're gonna draw a line that's like curving up. Then we like draw it like that and then like uh, going downward. Okay, then we're gonna do the end part will be right here. So he's like kinda like holding holding a life. Okay, so we're gonna do like this knife, kinda like sideways down right there. Okay. So make sure this knife is not, not like too long. You can uh, use this as a guideline. So it'll be like uh, about about the same as the knee. So that's the long the farthest you can go to go anywhere past that line like that. Okay, if you go past it, you can we can we like erase it? Okay, I just gonna go down a little. Okay, just gonna curve it down. Okay, then then we gonna draw the elbow right here. Okay, so the elbow will be like a bump, curving in. Okay, so make sure this is not a straight line though. If you draw that straight, make make sure you draw some bump on it. If you draw a straight line, you you won't look very professional because you don't have the feeling of the hoodie on it. Okay, then we're gonna draw a line curve down. Okay, so make sure you don't draw a straight line that's kinda like bumpy. Okay, so he's kinda like skinny. Okay, then we're gonna draw another line right there, curve down. Okay, then another one that's like very long. Okay, curve down like that. Alright, now I think I draw him a little bit too big. Because I cannot do the enough room to draw his legs. Alright, now I'm going to draw the, um, draw the hand. Okay, so he's now holding a, a life right here. So you can call it a black. 
All right, then we're gonna draw the hand like the fingers right here. So we, so I hope that's not pretty simple because I think that's not a little bit easy to draw if you don't have fingers. Fingers is not pretty hard to draw if you don't draw at least like a lot of parts doing it. Okay, then we're gonna draw a line down like that. Okay, then we're gonna draw a straight line down. So that's like his life he's holding. Okay, so let me go up a little. Alright, now let's draw the uh finish drawing this hoodie on the top. Okay, so we're gonna make some uh, bumpy lines and then connect it right here. Alright, so be like that. If I'm drawing a little bit too fast, you can pause the video. Okay, then we're gonna draw a line that like curving back. Alright, then we're gonna draw a needle line upward right there. Okay, then we're gonna connect and draw the shape of that line again. Okay, so it'll be like that, curving, not that, maybe not exactly the shape, same shape. Okay, so we're just gonna draw it like that. Alright, so let me, uh, now we're going to draw the, the feet. Okay, he, he, he's not standing up straight, he's gonna like kicking his leg back. Okay, so I'm gonna draw his leg like kicking back, backwards. So we're gonna draw a line down like that, curving it backwards. Okay, so maybe I will have enough space to draw that. Oh, sorry guys, I have to go get some water to drink. So I paused the video and went to get the water and drink a lot of water. I was thirsty. So let's get back to drawing. So we're drawing the leg part. As you can see, it's not kind of like kicking back and so happy and I celebrate racing for the 100, made a 100 on my test. I always do that, kick my leg back. Okay, so do that little part right there and then we're gonna like make it a little line curve up and down and then gonna make it kind of like a wave um going upward and goes down okay so right here and um, it's about the foot in the end point for the legs and then after that we got to the feet okay so we're just gonna do a line up right here so it's about the same knee okay so this is those two are about the same knee okay then we're gonna curve it down okay so curve it down kind of like um uh, Kind of like snake, snake line, kind of like that. Okay, curving it down. All right, then we're gonna draw the line, kind of like little triangle right here. Okay, draw a little triangle right there, and then we're gonna make, make a line goes in. Okay, then curve out. Okay, as you go curving out, it uh, it gets a little bit bigger. Okay, the distance between those two lines increase. Okay, and then we're gonna curve it up. Okay, so this this part is kind of challenging because. It's kind of straight line, so this is gonna curve it up like that. All right, just keep going um, where the line is. Okay, then we're gonna make a little triangle shape curve down like that. So those that's gonna be the leg. Then we're gonna draw the uh, that's the left leg. That's the right leg. Yeah, that's the now we're going to draw the left leg. Okay, so we're gonna draw two lines out. Okay, then we're gonna maybe draw a little bit line curve down near be nine downward okay they were kind of like so um kind of straight nine but a little bit bumpy on it to make it look more look like jeans okay so like that about halfway we're gonna do a little triangular shape again and then goes up and down up and down kind of looking like a shape of the rock all right then we're gonna do a little nine curve down I, I think that's how you let's get curve nine okay then we're gonna do a little triangle again right here Okay, so that's like the jeans um, folds on the jeans. Okay, so you can draw the pocket for the jeans. Okay, then we're gonna draw the same thing again. Okay, so you now I draw a little triangle. Alright, then we're gonna make a line goes down. Okay, with some bumps on it. Alright, like that. Okay, when you get to the end point like that, we're gonna draw a line that's kind of like go that way. And then towards upward with some bumps on it. Like this, uh, this is how I did it. Okay, then we're gonna draw the feet right here. So he's like kind of wearing like the style uh, kind of shoes. Okay, so it'll be like that. Then we're gonna draw the feet for the uh, right leg as well. All right, so it'll be pretty simple. We're just gonna make a curve line out and then uh, curve it in like that. All right, then we're gonna draw a circle kind of line right here. Okay, once you get that done, we're gonna draw another line. 
right below it to make it more look like the shoes okay so make sure that do, uh, draw the same line as the top one like that so you should it's a look like this okay so that's like uh now let's draw some details for the jeans okay then the line should be kind of like a uh, snake line again so snake curving down snake line okay for the jeans detail uh, all right then we can draw two lines that kind of look like a uh I don't know how to describe this line, okay, so let's draw it like that. <laughs> Alright, then we're gonna draw another line that's uh, very similar to this line right here. Okay, so to give some to give the jean some detail. Alright, so make sure just put some bunk curve on it to make it look more uh, real. Okay, so it, it's a look like this. And then we're gonna draw, draw two lines up. Alright, so that's basically the thing. And then we're gonna do the maybe the same thing again right here. Just and draw some curved lines okay just put some bumps on it you don't have to draw exactly like mine it'll be it'll look pretty good all right so that's basically the jeans okay then we're gonna add some unique feature to the hoodie okay so, so we just draw a snake line again curve down like that and then we're gonna draw a little uh, dot right there all right then we're gonna do the same thing and the other one to draw a snake line like that all right then we're gonna put a like um a cut line okay so it'll be like like that right here okay then we're gonna draw another cut line right, right here okay so that's two so we're gonna the uh, next part we're gonna draw the pocket like the hoodie pocket okay then we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is draw a line up and going upward again and then curve down like that okay so there's a big bunk like right here okay then we're gonna draw like a uh, stitch lines okay to show that this jacket is and stick together with the pocket okay then we're gonna do a cut line again like that okay so that's nice and those cut lines kind of represent the shadow okay then the next part we're gonna do the uh, right hand oh that's the left hand okay so the left hand contains like uh, a lot contains fingers okay for this part we're gonna do the fingers okay so watch me i'm gonna zoom in this part so this is kind of challenging for most most of you because uh not people usually don't tend to put his joint fingers they just join like this okay so we can draw it up and down then curve in in like that okay so that's now uh, the thumb okay then we're gonna draw the finger out first and then we're gonna draw the line okay so we're gonna draw a line straight up and curve down and then curve in so he kind of like have like and female type of fingers so it's not that big because it's, he's like he's still a teenage okay so it'd be like pretty simple we just kind of draw uh, kind of like really long circles like that okay so that's basically the fingers now we gotta draw the palm okay so we gotta draw, draw the line out right here and then curve down all right so that's like the uh like the hand Okay, then we're gonna draw the uh, this kind of shape, rectangular shape right here. So that's kind of like the life. All right, for this uh, here, he's holding a like I can draw him like it'll be bigger life. Okay, so this life is kind of like really long. Okay, so I'm gonna just draw him like more of a kitchen life. Okay, so it's like that. So that's like pretty big life. Then the, then the next part, oh, I draw this picture a little bit too big. You cannot fit the whole camera. But it's okay, I will like, adjust the camera some more. And then let's draw the eyes. So he, as you all know, he have a he, if you watch if you uh, watch his episodes, like he have a he, uh, pretty big eyes. So he can look a surprise. He uh, he's not a female kind of type. No, oh, surprise not a female type of character. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna draw a circle out first for the eyes. Okay, so it's kind of like elongated eyes. So I'm gonna draw the shape of the circle. Yeah. Okay. Then the this one is kind more toward the uh, left. Okay. So it's kind of about the same. Make sure to draw a line that's uh, right there to as a guideline about the same size. Okay. Then we gotta draw him the big smile. Okay. The, the in the big stem smiles is like right below the eye. So we right here. Okay. Then we gonna curve in, then curve up. All right. So that's not the big smile. Okay. Then we gonna so another one, so another line right below it. Okay, so it'll be like that. Curve straight, straight line right there, kind of straight. Right, then we're gonna curve up. 
All right, so he, the, his um, mouth will look like this. Okay, then the next one, I'm going to T. Okay, then we're going to draw two lines right here first. Okay, then we're going to draw three more lines right there. And then we're going to draw a line right in the middle. Okay, so that's not the T. Now I'm going to use switch back to my uh, ink pen. Now this ink pen is more like a uh, 0.5 layer ink pen. The one I used to draw the body is like 0 0.7. Okay, so that's the difference. Alright, so now I hope you not understand. Uh, then I can confuse on what type of ink pen I use. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the eyebrow first. Okay, so we're gonna draw a line that's kind of sticking up. Okay, and then we're gonna use that line to, um, as the guideline to draw the circle. Alright, so that's not the circle right here. Okay, so that's not the circle for the eyes. Okay, then he's like looking to the right, so we're gonna put a little dot right here. Okay, so that's his eyes. Then we're gonna draw the and uh, the second one. The second one don't have an eyebrow. Okay, not the eyebrow. Yeah, that's the eyebrow. Don't have an eyebrow. Don't need to just draw the circle for him. Okay, then we're gonna draw a little bit dark spot on the beside it. Okay, so that's how you draw it. And then we're gonna draw the um, right pupil on the right as well. Okay, so that's like the eyes. The next one we're gonna draw the nose. This is very simple as well. This way, you know, line right here. So that's basically the nose. All right. Then we're gonna draw the um, the big smile. Okay. I'm just gonna follow my uh, pencil lines and draw it. Okay. Then it will be like the second one will be right here, like that. All right. Then we're gonna draw the teeth. Okay. So it'll be like that. Okay, so big smile. Okay, then what's the left? We're gonna color in black. All right, let me pause the video for a second so I can adjust the uh, camera. All right, guys, now I've zoomed out like the all the way it can possibly go. I almost broke my camera. Ooh, that scared me a little right there. Oh my god. Just zoom out and zoom out as hard as I can. I did not notice that that's the all the way it can go. I just keep pushing it. Okay, then we're gonna draw a little hair on top of it. Okay, so you like that. Okay, so that's like kind of the style of the art. Okay, then the next part I have to do in drawing in your tiny app. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Sharpie, or you can use your kid using your mechanical pencil. Just push down really, really hard. Okay, we're gonna color the the uh, hair. Oh, oops, sorry guys. I did not know this time my video was like uh, our memory for recording. That was my fault. I did not. I stopped to get drink water or anything. Just wanted to know. So I just um. Just allow the video on my computer and just gonna uh, record it again. So I just catch the error right there. So that's pretty good. So basically, what I was talking about is using my uh, Sharpie or mechanical pencil to color the hair and read as dark as possible. Okay, so it's all black. So I'll be like coloring it right now and I'll be back. Guys, that's basically how to draw Jeff the Cuter. Okay, so I let me explain a little what I did right there. I forgot to color the pocket. Okay, so this I just use um, the Sharpie. I'm gonna draw draw out like the two outline. So I'm gonna draw draw a second line on the 
from clothes nine sixty nine to it. So it's like that's like like that part I don't need to color. So that's the two nine to it. Okay, so let me color in this part real quick. Okay, that's why you see a lot of white lines. That because I just draw a second line to it and just color it in like that. So it makes don't don't use the sharpie to color it. Like if you don't then draw the first second line. So this supposed to be two lines. So that means that way you can get a uh, white color in the middle. Okay, like that. White color in the middle to uh, to make it the thing uh, so show out some detail. Okay, and for the life, I just gonna use my regular mechanical pencil and draw in some like a uh, shiny knife. So just gonna draw it like that. Okay, so he he kind of look like uh sound like and just a sound like blowing it down. So it'd be like just draw some uh kind of like straight knives that's like really 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 close together. So it was look like this. So that's uh, making no more like uh, like the light. So that is. Okay, let me draw. <laughs> sorry, guys, let me draw some shadow for the nose. Okay, so that is basically it for how to draw Jeff the Killer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll be back with a new video as soon as possible.